Hello. Okay, today is a different day. I'm standing <laughs> and it's a little wonky looking up here, but I'm standing because this is about teaching you how to put your wetsuit top on and off. And I'm teaching this in the winter time. So I'm teaching you from inside the nice warm office instead of out next to the pool. The reason why I'm teaching it to you in the winter time is because you might want some extra warmth in your swimming here in the winter time. You can also replay this one in the summertime because when you swim outside in the lake, you might want to have a wetsuit top on. So I am wearing right now our beautiful Orca Swim School Rash Guard. And this is a nice layer and protection for, it works for sun, but it also, outdoor swimming in the winter like we're doing right now, it gives you some protection from that wind and a little bit of chill. But if you really want warmth, you want to have neoprene. And this rash guards, these were originally designed to guard you from getting a rash between the neoprene and your skin. <laughs> it gives you that a little layer in between. If you ever, sometimes people on hiking, they wear that. You wear a thin sock between your boot and your hefty sock. It helps from friction. So that's what the rash guard was originally designed for. And so it's nice to and handy to wear one underneath your wetsuit, although you don't have to. So and I'm also showing you how to put a, uh, a wetsuit shirt on, not a full body wetsuit. You can wear a full body wetsuit, just the more neoprene that you're wearing in terms of for swimming, especially if you're swimming in a pool, it just, it adds a lot more buoyancy too. And sometimes that's nice. I've known many a triathlete who's like, I am happy to swim with my wetsuit on because I know it makes me buoyant and I'm kind of afraid of not being buoyant. Different subject, <laughs> talk about that at a different time, but for a beginner swimmer, a lot of buoyancy, a lot of extra buoyancy can really throw you off and be off-putting and be difficult as well. So it may seem like I wanna have a lot of buoyancy when I'm learning to swim, but there can be a negative to it. So wetsuit top is a really nice balance of keeping your core warm. You can also get vests too. That's really just about keeping your core warm. And so the how much neoprene you wanna have depends on the temperature of the water, how much exposure time you're having, things like that. So for what our typical use, a wetsuit top is nice. There's different styles. The one I'm going to do today has the zipper in the back. You can get them with zippers in the front. It's not as common to find them with the zipper on the front. Again, because their original purpose was for doing something like uh, surfing. And so when you're surfing, you're laying on your surfboard. So to have a zipper in the front did, doesn't make sense in the surfing world. And even in like the triathlete world, World, it doesn't make sense in terms of your aerodynamicness, right? People are wanting to be slick in the water, which is why you're not going to find as many zippers in the front. You can find a zipper in the front though, which can be nice for the kind of, you know, for beginning swimming, for simple swimming, for learning, this kind of thing. It does make it easier for getting on and off. Vests are ones that you oftentimes can find with a zipper in the front. So, but I'm gonna show it with a zipper in the back. It has, this has a little leash that helps you. Wouldn't it be nice if all of our dresses had a leash like that for the zipper? It might not be fashionable. So in the pool, we can have this unfashionable leash to help us with the zipper. So to put this on, I am going to put my arms all the way through first. Okay, so my arms are in. I push my arms all the way through. It is tight. It's supposed to be tight. It's tight and squishy. Now I went in pretty simply because I have this nice long sleeve rash guard. It makes it easier. It's more slippery, but I want to get these arms in first. Looking funny here. And then I'm gonna collect up. I have my thumbs hooked around to grab the whole thing from the neck to the bottom. So I'm not letting it droop out this way. I'm not gonna put my head in and get lost in all of this material. I'm gonna collect it up so it's small. Let me get my string out of the way. And then I could put my head through, all right? So I busted my head through all at once. And then I can pull it into place reach back and get my zipper and zip myself all in. Nice and snuggy tight. Oh, this one's perfect for me. It's nice and snuggy tight. I'm just kind of giving it some adjustments 
Now, one of the things, again, mine's adjusting pretty easily because I have that rash guard underneath. If I didn't have that rash guard underneath and I was at the pool and I was wanting to kind of adjust the sleeves, right? It's not necessarily rolled into the right place. It might be rolled a little forward. I can, when I get in the water, open the sleeve up a little bit here so that I can let some water in. And I kind of let the water in and use the water and swoosh the water up around and I let the water in and get it up into my sleep. And that provides, sort of like the rash guard does, it provides some lubrication in there to help get my sleeves into a comfy place and roll the shoulders back in. So again, yeah, this one's nice. It's real tight on me. That's what I want. I can, you know, move my neck sometimes. Now to get this off, <laughs> we're going to get this off. So obviously I'm going to start with unzipping it come into the back. This one has a little Velcro in there to cover it up. I unzip it. Now we don't want to try and take it off like a shirt because if I was all wet when I did that, it would be stickier to me and harder to get off. And it's kind of like claustrophobic in there when I'm upside down in there, like I'm all tangled up in there. <laughs> This is not the way I recommend giving off, taking it off like you would a shirt. The other thing we don't want to do is you're not going to take your sleeve and try and pull it off like you might with a, a shirt, you know, so like you, a little kid like pulling their arm through, right? That's a good way to damage your neoprene that you're going to, it's all made up of these little bubbles and you don't want to yank and pull at it, okay? And that's going to break those little bubbles. So we can, we do want to bring it up and Keep pulling and pulling till you, and I reached back to grab till I popped my shoulder out. Okay, I wanted to get my shoulder out. I'll show on this side. I'm gonna pull and pull and pop my shoulder out. Get it to where my shoulder comes out. And here I can keep reaching behind and I'm gonna pull and pull to get my elbow out. And then all the way through, pulling my arm out. I turned it completely inside out, which is perfect, okay? Coming from behind, pulling my elbow through, pulling my hand through, okay? Now, just like when I put it on, I'm going to bundle it up so I don't get claustrophobic in there. I can pull it off in one swoosh. Nicely, it is all inside out now. Perfect. I'm going to go take it to the shower rinse it off in the fresh water and then i'm gonna hang it over a bar in my shower to drip dry i like it inside out because i like if i'm gonna wear it the next day the part i want dry is the part touching my skin <laughs> so i leave them inside out so the inside dries first you could turn it back the other way if you want to you know before you if you go to put it back on you're going to turn it the other way so there you go how to get your wetsuit on and off now i made it look easy i've done it before just like swimming i always make it look easy because i've done it before so it's nothing's going wrong if it's harder than what i made it look like and it was also easier because you know, i have this nice slippy top on it does make a difference but you don't have to have it. I want you just to be warm and comfortable and know how to take good care of it and not get trapped in your wetsuit. All right, see you next time.